Hello everyone and welcome to Fun to be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun to be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! We're here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa where a touch of Disney magic meets a seaside Victorian resort. Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa is a deluxe Victorian themed luxury hotel and spa located at the Walt Disney World Resort near Orlando, Florida. The Grand Floridian was inspired by the Victorian era beach resorts built along Florida's east coast during the late 19th century and early 20th century. The Grand Floridian is nestled on the shores of the man-made Seven Seas Lagoon near the Magic Kingdom. Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa consists of the main building, the convention center, and the resort's outer lodge buildings are named Sago Cay, Sugarloaf Key, Conch Key, Boca Chica, Big Pine Key, and also the Disney's Wedding Pavilion, the Villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, and the Fitness Center and Spa. Monorail Highway in the Sky. And here's a look at the monorail station here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And here's another quick look at the monorail station. Here at the Walt Disney World Resort, there's two monorail beams that circle Seven Seas Lagoon. The outer beamway goes to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, Disney's Contemporary Resort, and Disney's Polynesian Village. The other beamway is the express monorail line to the Magic Kingdom. And here we are at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And if we look over to our left hand side, there's a covered walkway that takes us to the Walt Disney World bus transportation. Let's go take a look at that. And here's a Victorian era carriage. And on the opposite side is a 1929 Cadillac for the classic car explorers. Here's that covered walkway that takes us to the bus stop just over to the left hand side. Bus stop, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. At the moment, bus service is offered to Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, and Disney Water Parks. If we follow the covered walkway over to the left hand side, it'll take us to the convention center. Let's go take a quick look at that. And here's the convention center at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Now let's head back to the main entrance to the lobby. Located just outside the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa's main building is Disney's Magical Express bus stop. Here's the portico, and just up ahead is the main entrance. Here we are at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. We're just gonna proceed through the double doors here and go into the Victorian Air Lobby. Take a look at this gorgeous tile here at the Grand Floridian. And here's a look at the Victorian Air Seaside Lobby. And just over to our right hand side is the front desk for check-in here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And here's the cage elevator that will take you up to the second floor. Here's a grand piano. Up ahead is an oversized bird cage. And off to the right hand side is a nice little sitting area to relax with your family and friends here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Let's push the button for the fifth floor. Concierge guest, please use key to access levels three, four, and five. We're now on the fifth floor. We're just having a look at the lobby down below here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Here's a quick look at the suites here on the fifth floor. And here's the room door entry and the room number plaque. Down below to the left is the front desk and on the second floor is the monorail station. 
and here's a little staircase that we'll use to take it down to the fourth floor. Here are the steps we just came down to come to the fourth floor. There's the elevators, and off to the left-hand side is the club level here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. At the moment, club level is not currently operating, but I'm hoping it will reopen soon. And here's a quick look at the club level's dining area. Now let's go down to the third floor. We're outside on the third floor balcony. Up ahead and across Seven Seas Lagoon is Disney's Polynesian Resort Village. Down below and up ahead is the courtyard pool, but we'll go see that later. And here's the third floor with the club level reception area. Behind me is the club level reception area. We're gonna go through these doors here, look down this hallway and check out the interior guest room with its door entry and its room plaque. We're outside on the balcony here on the third level, just looking at the Grand Floridian exterior elevation. Below us and up ahead is the monorail station. And over to the right hand side, you could just see the monorail beamways. Now let's head down to the second floor and check out the monorail station and the gift shops. Let's go. Also on the second floor is M Mouse Mercantile. Let's go inside and take a quick look. M Mouse Mercantile offers a vast array of Mickey and Minnie merchandise. Let's take a look at this neat Minnie Mouse shirt. It's $36.99. And here's just a quick look of the M Mouse Mercantile before we go see the monorail. Through these double doors here is the monorail station here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Near the monorail station is the Basin White Soap Shop. And here's a quick look at the Basin Soap Shop just through the window displays. Located next to Basin White is the Bippity Boppity Boutique. We could take a peek just through the window here, but at the moment it says, sorry, we are closed. And just around the corner from the elevators is Citrico's and Victoria and Albert's. Let's take a quick look at the hallway that leads down to Citrico's. Sadly, Citrico's is also temporarily unavailable. And here are the doors that goes to Victoria and Albert's. Victoria and Albert's is temporarily unavailable. Here's another staircase at the rear of the main building. And if you look through the window, you could just make out the courtyard pool. But we'll go see that in a moment. Here's the Enchanted Rose. And here's a quick look at the inside of Enchanted Rose. Let's take a look at the menu items Enchanted Rose has to offer. The Enchanted Rose Lounge serves foods between 5 p.m. and 10 p.m and also offers featured cocktails like the Island Rose, the Floral Bitter Beauty, and the Lavender Fog. Here's a quick look at the Enchanted Rose Lounge. And you could even enjoy your grown-up explore beverage with views of the Grand Floridian Lobby. Now let's head back down to ground level and check out the additional merchandise offerings here in the lobby. Here's that cage elevator again. But if we look just down to the right hand side, we're going to head down to Curiouser Clothiers. Here's Curiouser Clothiers. Let's go inside and take a look. And we're immediately greeted by this nice display. Also has a Grand Floridian logoed polo shirt. Let's see how much that is. And it's $95. And here's a quick look at Curiouser Clothiers. And directly on our right hand side, they also have a men's section right down there. Directly next door is the Garden View Lounge. And here's a quick look at the Garden View Tea Room. The Garden View Tea Room is also temporarily unavailable. And we've come up to Sandy Cove, gifts and sundries. Let's go inside and take a quick look Sandy Cove Gifts and Sundries offers various snack options and even frozen pizzas. Before we go out the exit, let's take a quick look at Sandy Cove Gifts and Sundries. 
We just came through that doorway there, but located in this atrium is 1900 Park Fair, and over to the right-hand side is the Grand Floridian Cafe. And here's 1900 Park Fair. 1900 Park Fair at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa at the moment is temporarily unavailable. And here's the Grand Floridian Cafe. Let's take a quick look at the menu offerings here at the Grand Floridian Cafe. The Grand Floridian Cafe offers entrees like the buttermilk fried chicken, the lobster thermidor burger, and the miso glazed salmon. Now we're going to go through this door here and head over to the Gasparilla Island Grill by making a left and walking through this covered walkway. Just up ahead is the courtyard pool, but we'll come back to that in a moment. We just came out of those double doors there. We're going to follow the covered walkway around the corner to the left hand side over to the Gasparilla Island Grill. This covered walkway continues past the exterior dining area and leads over to the Gasparilla Island Grill, just over to the left-hand side. We've arrived at the Gasparilla Island Grill. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer. Here's the Gasparilla Island Grill. Let's take a look at the menu items they have to offer here at the Gasparilla Island Grill. Gasparilla Island Grill offers some sandwiches, including a hot Italian sandwich, a roasted turkey sandwich, a smoked ham sandwich, and a grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup. Here's the mobile order pickup area. And off to our right hand side, here's the register queue and register wraps. Here's the refillable drink mug and soda station and a quick look at the dining room with the restrooms directly behind it. Let's go through these double doors here and check out the Arcadia Game Arcade. Just off to our left hand side. And here's the Arcadia Games Arcade. But at the moment, it's temporarily unavailable. But I'm hoping it will reopen shortly. Now let's go see the walkway to the Magic Kingdom located just behind the Sago Cay building. And here's the walkway over to the Magic Kingdom. Over to the left is a nice bridge. Up ahead are the monorail beamways that take you over to the Magic Kingdom. And if we look just over to the right hand side, you could take a little peek at the castle. And just behind us was the Sago K building. Now let's go see the Captain's Shipyard located on the opposite side of the Sago K building. Directly behind us is the Gasparilla Island Grill. Over to the left hand side, is the Sago K building again. And if we look up ahead in the distance, there's the castle again over at the Magic Kingdom. But if you look down here on the right hand side, there's the captain's shipyard. Let's go see that. Here's the Sugarloaf building. And just off to the left hand side is the captain's shipyard. And here's the captain's shipyard. They offer guided bass fishing excursions. Normally, they would offer fishing excursions and boat rentals. And here's a quick look at the marina and the dock. And located just on the other side from the captain's shipyard is the Conch Key building. But if we look over to our right hand side, we're going to go take a look at Narcusis. If we follow this pathway here, it'll take us down to the boat launch to the Magic Kingdom. Let's go have a quick look at that before we check out Narcusis. And here's the Mariner that takes you over to the Magic Kingdom. There's Space Mountain off in the distance. Over to the left hand side is the boat launch to the Magic Kingdom. And we could even see a monorail going around the Seven Seas Lagoon. Located directly across Seven Seas Lagoon is Disney's Contemporary Resort. But over on the left hand side is the entrance to Narcusis. And we've come up to Narcusis. Here's the front door to Narcusis. And over to the right hand side is the menu. Let's see what they have to offer. Narcusis offers entrees, including the grilled line caught swordfish, the blackened salmon, the pan seared George's Bank Day boat scallops, and surf and turf with choice of cold water lobster tail or pan seared scallops. 
While dining at Narcusi's, you could enjoy views of the Seven Seas Lagoon. And here's a quick look at the Boca Chica building. And directly behind me is the courtyard pool. Let's go take a look at that. Here's this relaxing fountain here at the courtyard pool. We've arrived here at the courtyard pool. Just off in the distance is the main building here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Here's the courtyard pool's zero entry. And here's the spa for the grown-up explorers. And here's another look at the courtyard pool. And here's the courtyard bar at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And here's a look at the menu at the courtyard pool bar. The courtyard pool bar has a few entrees like the buffalo chicken wrap, the house roasted turkey wrap, the portobello mushroom wrap, and the gourmet all beef hot dog. And here's another look at the courtyard pool bar. Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa offers a few resort activities like the White Rabbit Pocket Watch Hunt, Movie Under the Stars, and even lawn games. Here's a quick look at some lawn games. Here's another look at some additional lawn games. Here's the courtyard pool, and if we look over to the right hand side, here's the big Pine Key building. Here are the double doors that we came out of earlier. But if we swing over to our left hand side, we're going to take a quick look at the summer house. Here's the summer house that contains restrooms and overlooks Seven Seas Lagoon. Behind me is the summer house and located directly across Seven Seas Lagoon is Disney's Polynesian Resort. And over to the right hand side, there's this beautiful beach area. Here's another look at the beach area. And over to the right hand side, you could even play chess here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And here's the beach pool water play area for junior explorers. Here we are at the beach pool. And there's the water slide here at the beach pool. You could even rent a cabana here at the beach pool. Here's another look at the beach pool. And just up ahead is beaches, pool bar and grill. Here's the waterfall at the beach pool and off in the distance is Seven Seas Lagoon. Here's zero entry at the beach pool and just up ahead is beaches, pool bar and grill. The beaches, pool bar and grill has alcoholic beverages like the Sunshine Margarita, the Blueberry Lemonade and the Bourbon Breeze. Now that we've seen the beach pool, let's head over to the villas. Just up ahead is a covered walkway that takes us over to the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Up ahead, there's this nice fountain. Over to the right hand side is the Seven Seas Lagoon. And if we continue swinging over to the right hand side, here we are in the covered walkway. But if we proceed up to the right, it'll take us to the entrance over at the villas. And here's a quick look at the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. This is a Disney Vacation Club Resort. We're gonna go through these double doors here and have a look inside the villas. Here's a nice sitting area inside the atrium here at the villas. But if we look straight ahead here, here's a neat little fountain featuring the Mary Poppins penguins. If we look overhead, there's a giant oversized chandelier that goes all the way up to the sixth floor. Let's go take a look at that. Let's hit the button here to go up and hit the sixth floor button. We're now on the sixth floor and just across the way is the room entry and room plaque. We're now looking at the oversized chandeliers that hang over the lobby here at the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And here's a quick look at the villas. Now that we've seen the villas here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, let's head over to the wedding pavilion. Directly behind me are the villas here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Off to the right hand side is Disney's Polynesian Resort Village. And this pathway here will take you all the way around Seven Seas Lagoon and it even doubles as a running trail. We've arrived at Frank's studio. 
And if you look through the window here at Frong Studio, you could see some wedding cakes and various other wedding reception items. And here's another look through the window. Up ahead is Disney's Wedding Pavilion, where you could get married on the shores of Seven Seas Lagoon, overlooking the castle at the Magic Kingdom. And here's another look at Disney's Wedding Pavilion. Now that we've seen the Wedding Pavilion, let's go over across the way and check out the health club and spa. And we've come up to Senses, a Disney spa. Let's go take a quick look. Just behind me are the villas. Up ahead is Senses, a Disney spa. Located just to the right hand side of Senses is the fitness center. And if you look through the door, you could just see some fitness equipment inside. On the left hand side is Senses, a Disney spa. Straight ahead are the tennis courts here. And if we look over just to the right hand side, there's a nice little patio area with some barbecues where you can sit, relax, and grill some hot dogs. Now let's head back to the main building, the lobby, or the entrance at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And here we are at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Prepare for a time shift in the space-time continuum. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Grand Floridian Resort just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.